On this chapter, you learned all you need to know to work with the relational data in a web API using the Entity Framework Core. You first learned about the relationship types and we said that we have the one-to-one, -one, one to many and the many-to-many -many relationships. An example of one-to-many relationship would be the relationship between a publisher and a book. So a publisher can publish multiple books, so many books, but the book can be published by one publisher. An example of many-to-many -many relationships would be the relationship between books and authors. So an author can publish many books and also a book can be published by many authors. Then next you learned how to add or get relational data from the database. By the end of this chapter, you learned how to delete relational data using the Entity Framework Core and for that you learned with two different examples, a one-to-many and a many-to-many -many relationship. For the one-to-many, you removed a publisher and you saw that the books of that publisher were also removed. Now, the reason why that happens is that the Entity Framework Core will check for the relationship between two entities. If it's a one-to-many and you're removing the parent entity, the children entities will also be removed. But if you remove a child entity, the parent doesn't get removed. In many-to-many -many relationships, when you remove one of the entities, just the relationship will be removed. 